Nathan, thanks. And turning now to new developments tonight in the deputy involved shooting the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office releasing the full video today. It does give us a clearer picture of what happened on April 2nd that left the suspect Eric Harris dead, but there are plenty of unanswered questions. A warning though, this video is disturbing. The Sheriff's Office has covered up some of the faces of officers and we blurred a brief portion as Harris was on the ground. What's up, brother? What's up? You made me nervous, man. <laughs> The incident started as a sting operation. Undercover deputies working to bust Eric Harris for trying to sell a gun. But Harris got away. He's running, he's running, he's running. A chaotic scene as they try to catch him. And when they do, things turn from bad to worse. Reserve Deputy Robert Bates screams, Taser, Taser. But instead of shooting his taser, you can hear a single gunshot. On your stomach. Now. <laughs> The sheriff's office saying he mistakenly fired his gun in his other hand, a pepper ball gun, though they say he had a taser as well. After the shooting, you can hear what the sheriff's office says is Bates apologizing. Oh, I shot him. I'm sorry. Eric Harris eventually pronounced dead from his injuries. The Tulsa County Sheriff's Office maintains Bates did not commit a crime, calling it a stressful situation and saying Harris's actions are also to blame. And more now on Reserve Deputy Bates. He is 73 and is a certified peace officer. The sheriff's office says he wasn't technically on duty. The gun used was his personal gun, but they say he did have permission to use it. Also of note, we've learned Bates donates to Sheriff Stanley Glantz campaign efforts, also serving as chair of the 2012 campaign. It's now up to the district attorney whether he will face charges.